Hey, Dan Blewett here for another Q&A, and thank you for the question, Tom. So which is harder, starting or relieving? So for me personally, I found starting to be harder, and this is for two main factors. Number one, mentally, I struggled, especially when I was younger, at breaking the game into manageable pieces. I would sort of go out there and be like, oh no, I've got to throw, how am I going to get through seven innings? Like, how am I going to, if I had, if I gave up runs early, I'd be like, oh man, I got now I got to go like four more scoreless to keep our team in the game. And that's a really destructive mindset. And I got a lot better at improving that and getting rid of that mindset and going one pitch at a time. But that's a really tough thing for some players to swallow. Another thing that's tough about starting is that you can't, or you have to kind of pace yourself and you can't just go out there and just bulldoze everybody uh, because you kind of tire out a little bit. So there's definitely a little bit of a pacing component. Now you do sort of throw 99% as hard as you can the entire game, but there's definitely an aspect of pacing as a starter rather than a reliever. And then uh, for me personally, I struggled a little bit going from the windup to the stretch to the slide step. And uh, I had a really big leg kick and I think I was just still like young in my learning curve where if maybe I'd been a starter at the tail end of my career, like 29, 30, maybe I'd have been better than I was when I was, you know, 22, 23, 24. I don't really know uh, because it's tough to compare me at the end of my career. I'd learned so much. I'd, I'd pitched against so many good hitters and I'd really adjusted and, and improved. It's hard to compare the younger to the older. But for me, when I did convert to a reliever full time, which was after my second Tommy John surgery, I actually split time. I did both the first season back. I think I got like six starts and made like 40 innings in relief. Uh, and that was actually really hard doing both because it's tough to get your arms stretched out. You know, you throw five innings after being a reliever for a month, it just kind of crushes your arm. And then it's just really tough to get on the routine. So that is the hardest thing to do is being a mix, being a swing guy where you'll start, then you'll be a reliever. It's really tough to prepare. It's tough to know how to stage and, uh, and get your routine right. So that's a really difficult thing to do. But for me, being a reliever, I had one job. I had to get three out. So it was already in a bite-sized chunk. Sometimes I had to get one out, whatever. Uh, and I broke it obviously down into even smaller pieces, which is I just need to make one good pitch. So for me, it was a very short-term job. And I was very focused and uh, I, I learned a lot from that. And mentally, that was great. I could just go after guys. I could be really aggressive, which was, I think, my best version of myself. I was not like a Tom Glavin, Greg Maddox type, like, you know, pick guys apart. I was more like go after guys and still make intelligent pitch calling decisions. But I was much better being as aggressive as possible and pitching angry and going after people. And you could really do that as a, as a late innings reliever. So and the other benefit of being a reliever was I always went out of the slide step. That was the only version of my delivery I used. I didn't do a big leg kick ever. I was always fast, so I was very, very consistent. I think that helped me a little bit. So for everyone, those are sort of a lot of the pros and cons. Some guys do it better than others. You know, mentality-wise, if you're like that bulldog kind of kind of pitcher that I think that was, you know, again, I don't make my own reputation, but I feel like that was somewhat of my reputation in the last couple of years. You're often better suited for relieving. If you're you really like your structure, you really like your week, you know, being like Monday, I do this, Tuesday, I do that, Wednesday, I do that, then I start on Friday. Having that routine, that's really important for being a starter, uh, being able to pace yourself, and you just pitch a lot as a starter. I mean, 200 innings in the big leagues or in, in pro ball is a lot of innings, and uh, some guys mentally are great with that, and then sitting for four days in a row, um, and some guys like to be potentially in the game every time, you know, like a reliever. As a reliever, you could pitch every day. Uh, obviously, you wouldn't pitch every day, but every day you potentially could pitch. So you kind of have this like I'm in the game mentality, kind of like a position player. So there's just a lot of different uh, there's a lot of different aspects of it. And some guys are better suited than, than others. And I think for every young pitcher, you should experiment with both, because I know for me, I didn't even like I didn't relieve full time until I was really late in my career. And if I had done that earlier, maybe I would have been better earlier. I don't really know. I was a reliever as a freshman in college, then I was a starter all throughout the rest of my college career because I was good enough to be a starter, and you usually give the most innings to guys uh, who, are, who are the best players, and uh, that was still sort of the same thing as uh, my first couple years in pro ball, and then after that, my arm, I just didn't feel like I could handle it, so I wanted to convert into a reliever, and I just, I think I was better suited for that, but I really encourage all the players that I coach to try to figure out what works for them because 
someone might be really dominant as a starter and not great as a reliever and vice versa. I've had some kids that are mediocre starters that then are just amazing as relievers. So you just want to figure out what's right for you, just like anything else. Like you could be a great third baseman, but not a great shortstop. You could be a great second baseman and not a great third baseman, right? You just want to find out what's right for you. So that's part of the component too. But anyway, great question. Ask away in the comments below. Leave a comment below. Like, are you better as a reliever? Were you better as a starter? Was there something I missed? Is there something that you found really difficult about doing one or the other? Leave it in the comments below and uh, we'll see you here on the next Q&A.